Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. So you're back. I'm back, yes. Not as brown as I would like to have been, mm. but yeah. You done like an afternoon in your back garden and you were more brown than I was. I took it as a personal challenge and I was just waiting there for every bit of sun. <laughs> but I'm back. I had a great time um, and on that note I'd like to say a huge thank you to the Pathos Magic Society and Peter Stammers for um, really looking after myself and um, my girlfriend and my mate that were there. Uh, they uh, gave us a really, really great welcome and we had a really good evening so thank you so much for that. And I would say to any lecturing magicians as well, if you are in the Cyprus area, um, do look up that club. It was a really, really great night. So, yeah, thank you, Peter. I really appreciate that. But I'm back. Yes. And um, we have some magic to review. We have got some magic to review. We've got quite a few things to review uh, this time. Yes. Um, something that's sort of excited a lot of us for a long time are the new John Bannon DVDs. This is the first of a two disc series. I right, think. okay. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you a couple of tricks from here. Ooh. Um, we've also got All About Eve by our very good friend, Steve Della. This, in my mind, has now become my favorite book test. Yeah. And I'll explain why a bit later. Yeah. Um, and there's two items that have been out of stock for a long time, but they are seriously worth your consideration. Yeah. Uh, the first is Inferno by Josh J. Are, are we going to drop the trailer in, or am I going to do that? Oh, uh, it's up to you. I don't mind. Either of them will happen during this vlog. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the other one is The Prism Deck by Josh J. And we will drop the trailer in for this one. Um, I've actually got a Prism Deck. I did uh, practice it. I did learn it. But I've left it at home. Yeah. And uh, to be fair, I haven't done it in a while. So I most probably won't do it the justice it deserves. It is brilliant. But, yeah, yeah. It's an awesome, awesome trick. And it's not very hard to do. So we'll drop the trailer in for that. In fact... Let's drop the trailer for Prism Deck right now. Oh, here we go. Our eyes respond to color. Color is everywhere. This is Prism. Color changing deck is a classic trick, and the classic trick just got better. Prism is the ultimate deck to use with your color changing deck routine, because every single card in this deck was hand designed, custom designed for your use in these tricks. It's 20 effects possible. Each one causes a deck of cards to change in your hands or in their hands into a deck of cards made up of all different back designs. I'm gonna show you amazing color changes, things that happen in their hand, unexpected surprises, and ace locations, all possible because of this, the prism deck. Uh, I'm gonna mix the cards, some face up, some face down. And I'll try and find the aces. Here we go, first one. This is the second one. Third one, I have to deal from the center of the deck because it's not on top. Got a deck that's face up and face down. Every single card straightens oh, out in the deck. Oh, Every God. single card except for one. You get to do the honors. Leah, pull it out, show it to him, the big finish. <laughs> that's amazing. Your oh, ace. Every single oh, card. Every single card is different. Even the ones in your hand, you turn them over, even those cards. The style, the handling, and the finish of this deck of cards is state of the art. There's never been anything produced like it so that you can make your color changing deck even stronger. This is also the only rainbow deck in the world that's marked. So in addition to your color changing deck routine, you can now do things never before possible.
I've been doing the prism deck for the last three years and every show I do, it's my closing effect and I'm proud to present to you now the prism deck. Right, so that was the prism deck by Josh J. Um, it, it's very, I mean, there's uh, so much you can do with this deck of cards. Yeah. And the, each card has been designed in such a way that there's a lot more that that card can do than the yeah. meets the eye. Does yes. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not just the, the colour changing deck routine. Yeah. But to be fair, it's a brilliant rainbow deck anyway. Now, um, rainbow decks are not easy to come by. Good ones are not easy to come by. Yeah. So to have one with other stuff built into it yeah. is superb. Um, but the, the whole ace cutting routine is great and it really makes your audience feel, or your spectators feel that they've seen the whole yeah. deck. It's really, really clever. It's not hard to do. Um, it does take a little bit of practice, but there are different versions taught on the DVD. Now, if you buy this, there are two versions on our site. There's a refill pack, yeah, which is the deck Just only. Just the deck. So if you've got the DVD already, then and you need a fresh deck, then we do sell them. But I would advise not just buying the deck to oh. try and shortcut it because you won't know what to do with it. Yeah, and there's a lot of hidden things in it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely. If you haven't got it already, go for the DVD and the deck. Yeah, and then as and when you wear it out, you can just buy the refill. Yeah. Um, but it's a seriously good trick. So that's the Prism Deck by Josh Jane. David, mm. we're gonna try a little bit of an experiment using your imagination. Just uh, hold your hand out. Um, I have a matchbox. You do. Now, if you associate matches with something, it will be fire. So that's what you're gonna imagine, okay? okay? Put your other hand on top of the box for me. Now, I want you to imagine we've got a packet of playing cards here. Yeah. Every card is there apart from the Joker. So we've got all the number cards, all the picture cards, okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you three questions, uh -huh. and whatever you say, we're going to do. Mm. Okay? And we are going to set fire to the cards, but you're going to end up saving just one. Okay. All right? Yeah. So, first of all, um, I want you to imagine the cards. We're splitting them into number cards, so the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and all the jacks, queens, kings over here. Yeah. We're going to light the first match, and yeah. you're going to set fire to either the spot cards, Yeah. Or the picture cards. Which ones do you want to set fire to? Uh, the spot cards. The spot cards. Yeah. So imagine setting fire to them. Yeah. They're all going to go up in flames and the ash is going to fall down. Mm. Mm. So we've now got the picture cards left. You're going to yeah. light match number two. Yeah. If we're going to split the picture cards into men mm. and women. Who are you going to put the match to? The men. The men. Imagine it. You're going to set them alight. They all start to burn and the ash comes falling down. Yeah. You've now got four women left. You've got the queen of hearts, clubs, spades, and diamonds. Yeah. You're gonna set a light to the four queens, but yeah. just at the moment they start to burn, yeah. you're gonna reach out and grab one to save her. Which one is it? The hearts, queen of hearts, yeah. the queen of clubs, queen of spades, or queen of diamonds? Diamonds. Diamonds. Yeah. Do me a favor, open up the box. Inside you're gonna see something. What is it? It's a burnt-ish card and a paperclip with a paperclip. Here's the idea. We're gonna take the card. Mm -hmm. You can take the box, you can check the box. Nothing else in it. No. Um, I'm gonna take the paperclip off. That's gonna go in my pocket. And over here we have the one card and you said the queen of? Diamonds. The one card <laughs> we managed to say happens to be the queen of diamonds. Okay. And that, is Inferno. Yeah. It's absolutely great. Um, it comes with everything you need. It actually comes with two different versions. Yeah. So if you were to purchase this, you can set up one version in your close-up case and one version to carry about. Now, bearing in mind, everything you need to do this effect is contained within yeah. a matchbox. I was about to say that, and this really is a selling point. Um, for, for hobbyists, if you're taking it out, you know, to do it with your friends in the pub, <clears throat> Uh, it's great, it takes no space, but for the working magician as well, to, to know that that is a full routine, yeah. and that's all you need, it, it's superb. And when you, watch, uh, when you watch Josh do it, he does it as like this parlor presentation. You imagine that if you were doing it to a group of people, and you had the actual matches, your lighting, lighting the matches, 
Um, you know, you can really build the presentation. You can have a, a wine glass over the matchbox. You can really build it up. So out of this small little box, which they can examine, it is just a regular matchbox. Yeah. Um, you're getting this phenomenal prediction, card prediction. Yeah. And it's. Um, I'm not gonna. I don't want to give away method. Um, but as I said at the very beginning, yeah, I'm going to ask you three questions, yeah, and I will do exactly what you say. Yeah, that's what's lovely. The structure of this just feels so free and fair, and it, it really is. Yeah. There's none of this weird. I'm not going to start naming it and doing it. Those who know know. There's none of it. Yeah, whatever you say, I will do. Yeah. Um, and, and that's what's so clever about this. So this comes with a DVD and it comes with the props to set up two different versions. So you can have one in your close-up case yeah, and one, I, I always carry one in my car. There's one in my glove box, there's yeah. one in my close-up case. Uh -huh. um, and for, for that, you're getting a great, great routine. And it's really not that difficult to do. No. That's, that's the cool thing about it as well. I think, was it 2013, it's on here? Yeah, it won best trick of the year in 2000 when it was released. Yeah. And, and it's, Quite it's rightly, not, so. yeah, it's not surprising why it did yeah. that. Now the two, I will say the two versions you get in here mm. are slightly different. One requires a, a little more sleight of hand, but not difficult. Yeah. Um, the other one is really easy. The one I just performed mm. um, is the one that's in my glove box, and it's really easy. Yeah, uh, it literally, it literally is. You and know, unfold the cartridge there. To be honest, between the difference between the two about going into method is one you would want to uh, perform on your magic mates. The other you would use in a working environment. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, the easy one I'd work in a yeah in a working environment, and and the hard one if you want to fool magicians. Yeah. I I think it. The harder one's nice, you, you've got another little added convincer, yeah. but for a lay person, it's overkill. Yeah. For so magicians, it, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's just a perfect routine. You know, it's very rare that you can take something out of the package and just put it straight into your repertoire, and this is definitely one of them. So if you saw this when it came out and didn't go for it, I would seriously reconsider. It's yeah. worth every penny. And it's been off the market for about six to eight months already, if not longer. Yeah. So we've just managed to get some more in. That's why we're sort of showcasing it again. For those of you that missed it, it is totally awesome. You will not regret it. It's so, it's clever in method. The routine um, is really nice. The presentation is superb. There's really nothing not to like about it. Yeah. It's pretty it's fair. Yeah. Um, so that is Inferno by Josh J. Right, so the next product we're gonna talk about is Move Zero. Now, I will say there are some uh, magicians and uh, creators that I've known since I've got back into magic who I've always had a big admiration yeah. for. And one of those people is John Bannon. When you go back to his Twisted Sisters, his Strangers Gallery, such yeah. superb tricks. He's had some killer books out, brilliant DVDs. Yeah. yeah. Um, His teaching's always spot, you know, spot on the mark. And he's a fun guy to learn from, but also his stuff's very practical. It's never too difficult. Yeah. Uh, and then this is a great DVD. So as far as I'm aware, this is part of a two disc set. The next disc is coming out in a month or so. Yeah. The title of the DVD is called Move Zero, um, which means Every trick is either self-working or semi-automatic, okay. which is brilliant. Yeah. Um, now, I'm going to show you two tricks from here, and I will say this. I have literally been shown these tricks once by Andy. Yeah. So, Andy, run me through them. Andy got a pre-copy of this. Yeah, he's watched it all. Why Andy got a pre-copy and I didn't, Owen Packard. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> fine. So, Andy watched it. Wouldn't lend us the disc, no, because he's at home still he watching. Because he said, "Oh, it's mine. You yeah, it to me." So. Yeah. <laughs> so Andy's watched it, and he's taught me two of the tricks from there. And so, literally, I've done them once. So forgive me if I'm a bit rusty with them, but it will show you how easy they are yeah. to learn. And when we get one that's really, really easy, we'll teach well, you. I'll, I'll learn it. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, okay. The first one. What was this called? Collusion. Collusion. Yes. Collusion. So. Um, David, yes, I've got a, a deck of cards. You do, and we are going to give them a shuffle, like uh, so. Ooh. No, no, it weren't a great one. It wasn't a great one. Not showing off my uh, my skills as a, uh, a magician. Can do a good one. 
Dan was it good. The second one's right. Yeah. Now, yeah, no. Third one. <laughs> what is happening with my shuffling today? Oh, there you go. You're a mentalist. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we've got a deck of cards. And over here, I've got two jokers. I'm going to use the jokers as marker cards. Right. So, you're going to play the part of two spectators. Yeah. So, first of all, I want you to think of any number, um, let's say up to 20. Okay. Okay. Pick up the deck and deal down to that number, face down. Okay. And it can be any number you want, but obviously remember it. Okay. It doesn't matter if I see it because it's not that sort of cool. trick. We're going to mark exactly where you start. Uh, I want you to drop the rest of the deck on top. That's marked the position of your first number. Cool. And now you're going to think of another number. Deal down to that number. Perfect. We're going to mark exactly where they're. Let's drop that on top. So, if we were to spread these out, like so, I hope we can get this on camera, but we're going to be able to see the exact place you stopped dealing. Okay? Yes. So, I hope all of that is still in shot. Now these jokers, they're not just marker cards, they tell us something else. This joker says value. Right. This joker says suit. So whatever the suit of this card is, if this is a club, yeah. the card we're gonna, our target card will be a club. Right. Okay, that. does that make sense? I'll yeah. turn that around as well. Right? Very selfish like that, yeah? <laughs> um, so whatever suit this is, our target card will be of the same suit. Okay. Spade. It's a spade. Uh -huh. This one is the value. So if that's a six, our target card will be the six of spades. Correct. If that's a nine, it will be the nine of spades. If it's a jank, it will be the jack of spades. I've got you. You got the idea? Yeah. What if it's a joker? I removed the joker. Okay. Five. Five of spades is our target card. Okay. 52 cards. Yeah. 52 different positions. Uh-huh. What was the number you thought of, or both numbers combined? Uh, combined, it would give 18. 18. 10 Watch and this. 8. What's our target card? Five of, five of spades. Five of spades. One, two, not the five of clubs. No. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Not the four of spades. No. But it's 17. <laughs> 18. The Perfect. five of spades. That's brilliant. And that is totally nice self-working. Um, it's got, you know, touches of Gemini twins. Yeah. But you've got that lovely card at any number. Yeah. Uh, revelation. I love this as well because, it, you know, for... A lay person, so we're going to randomise this procedure even more. So we've got the suit and the vein, yeah. And that to them, it just kind of leaves them with, well, hold on, yeah. Uh, you know, I could have had any card, really nice, yeah. I love that. Um, so that is collusion. So that was collusion. That was collusion. What's the next one? The next one is called sort of psychic, mm. okay. Um, so for this, we're going to test out your psychic abilities. Oh, yeah. So, uh, give them a really good shuffle up. Now, bear in mind, uh, most of these tricks, well, I think all the tricks can be done with a borrowed deck. Okay. And that's the nice thing, you know, if you just had the two jokers with that, and you don't have to have suit and value, you just say suit and value, but yeah. it's, it's quite nice, you can have these in your wallet and just use it with a borrowed deck. So, for this one, um, in fact, I want you to cut the deck. Wherever you cut, that's where I'll take the cards from, because we're not going to use the whole deck. Oh, okay. Uh, about there. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So we're only going to use, uh, we're just going to use a bunch of cards. That should be enough. Here's the idea. You're going to take those, give them a shuffle up, and then I want you to fan them to yourself and just think of any one of the cards in your pile. Right. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Okay, now shuffle them again. So you don't know where it is. And okay. if you don't know where it is, yeah. there's no way I could know where it is. No. But it's not about me. Right. I'm going to test you. I'm going to test your psychic ability three times. Okay. Okay. Um, if you get it right two or more times, yeah, that's two or three. Yeah. You've got some sort of psychic ability. Cool. All right. All right. So this is what we do. We're going to mix these up into little packs. I want you to put 
one hand over each pack. Do this until you get a, a sense that your card is in that pack. That one? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you. Uh, you just tell me if you got it right. No. You didn't? No. Right, you've got to try harder, all right? Right, okay. So we'll, we'll try again. We'll split these up. Yeah. This one. Go for that one again. I'm pretty confident. It's in there. No. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm the mind reader. Yeah. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, we can do it. Last chance to sort of redeem yourself. <laughs> right, okay. Now you've had that one twice, yeah. haven't you? So do three you times a no, three times a charm, isn't it? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Is it in there? No. <laughs> okay. Now, you had... I'm useless is what we come to the conclusion of there. Right. You had a totally free choice yeah. um, of any one of the cards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the cards up, okay? And I'm going to try and do it, but I'm going to try and do it with the full deck. Right. Okay. Um, what I'm going to ask you to do, just cut the deck any way you like. To about there. And you know what your card is, yes? So I want yeah. you to concentrate on your card. We're going to see if my right mind reading skills are, are better than yours oh. or my psychic ability. Okay. okay, so first of all, I want you to concentrate on the colour of your card. Yeah. Okay, it's a black card. Yeah. Okay. Um, concentrate on the suit of your card. Yeah. It was a club. Yes. Okay, concentrate on the value of your card. Okay, I'm getting it's a lowish value. In your mind, just count the, the pips. Yeah. That was quite low. You didn't count for long. That was the three of clubs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but remember, you cut the deck anywhere. Yeah. Maybe you're not as bad as we think you are. Oh, perfect. Yeah, great. And that is nice. sort of psychic. Now, bearing in mind, that is any borrowed, shuffled yeah. deck. There's no setup. There's nothing to, to get in the position. It's a borrowed deck. Go into it anytime. I think that is so, so clever. Yeah, I think the procedure as well is fun. It's yeah. a fun procedure, so you don't see it as being a long procedure. It's, yeah, it just and it, it, it's a fun thing, and it gets good, because there's an extra effect, because I don't know, to be fair, I don't know whether you're going to get that bit right or wrong. Right. Now, I was given a magic lesson last night and I performed this on the person, the student I was giving the lesson to. And once again, he kept getting it wrong. Right. But now in your mind, you start thinking that's part of the effect. How is he making me yeah. get it wrong? Or has it vanished or, yeah. you know, so you're building the effect up. Now, bearing in mind when you do it, you could get it right three times. You could get it wrong a couple of times. Yeah. Um, but it works really well when they get it. It is a 50-50 chance, but when they get it wrong all the time, it's great because you start questioning, well, how am I getting it wrong? And you sort of get a little bit frustrated, yeah, like yeah. poker deal and but stuff. But then at the end, you have that nice, you know, uh, reversal where you go, actually, you're better you've than done you really well here. Take yeah. a look. And yeah, it's nice. Yeah. And that is most probably one of my favorite that I've learned off the DVD. Now, bearing in mind, like I said at the beginning, um, Andy has run me through those tricks once. Yeah. So the presentation is obviously a bit rusty, I'm just winging it, but um, it shows you how easy yeah. they are to do. Yeah, 100%. Um, I, so, love, I love John Bannon's ideas and his tricks. I think he's superb. Yeah. And another great uh, DVD from Big Barn Media. Yeah, definitely. Um, that is Move Zero. As of filming this, they're in stock. Uh, I would expect that as soon as this vlog goes live these will sell out in minutes yeah but we have got more on the way so if we're out of stock when you order you're only going to wait a couple of days but they are in as we speak and i highly highly recommend it the filming quality is always superb with owen and the team um john bannon in my mind has never put out a bad trick no. um and it, it's it's phenomenal so uh yeah move zero Right, so the last uh, trick we're going to talk about today, or the last effect, is All About Eve by our very good friend Steve Deller. Yeah. Now, I've known Steve. Steve's been a customer of ours since he was about 11 or 12. So I, I've known him for years, and he's always been... I remember as a kid, he used to ring me up 
every, almost every day with yeah. a new idea. Peter, I've invented something. Yeah. All the time. His mind just doesn't stop. Steve is, I would <coughs> ask him, is one of my best friends. I've known Steve for years. And every time we sit down and just have a, a pint or have a chat, he's constantly uh, got ideas running in his head. You could show him one thing and he'll lead it off in a different direction. So he's, yeah. he's a great magician. He's a really great guy. Yeah, he's a brilliant performer as, as well as creator. And yeah. The first time I heard about this was when you come back, you were performing at the Young Magicians Club in their gala show. Uh, yeah, I was doing the Close Up Magic before and then Steve was in the gar I was in the uh, stage show and uh, he said he was going to do this and so he's always gone on about this book test and I'd never seen it. So I was really excited about seeing it <coughs> and he does his show and then he gets to the book test. Now, some book tests for me, just as a magician, I can get a little bit bored watching some book yeah. tests. You could, only because you know in your mind, you know where it's going. Yeah. You know he's going to reveal something. Um, then spectators love it but so I, I was sat there and i i kid you not he had me engaged from the second he started doing his presentation of the book test to the very end and it built and built and built and you're hearing gasps from yeah. members of the audience now the audience of that show are the young magicians and their parents so he's getting gasps over a book test and i think that's because of what he's built into this and how strong he's made it that you can give so much information or yeah. seemingly give so much information that you believe he's reading your mind. Yeah. It, it really is great. Well, I, I'm going to, I've got a, a copy of this. Um, I must admit the, the way I'm going to do it to you is not the way I would usually do it because mm. I would use two people, which yeah. is the same way you saw Steve do it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm, I'm not really, uh, it's really hard because I, I don't want to give method away, mm. okay? Um, but for those of you that own maybe Mother of All book tests, yeah. you're looking for the same information, right. um, but I can give you information before I get that information, yeah. okay? So that, that's something I want to say. And that's a massive plus point. Yes, yeah, that, that to me makes this leaps and bounds yeah. above the other one. And I've got a really nice um, little presentation. I'll, I'll speak to you uh, about different ideas with it, but I'm going to try and be a little bit cagey. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So those who know will know. Yeah. Those who don't, hopefully, won't. Yeah. Okay? But uh, we've got a, a book there, Dave. If you take hold of it, just flick to the back page. Tell me how many pages are in the book. 310. 310 pages, roughly how many words would you say were on each page, roughly? Uh, on the 150? 150. So you've got 150 words times 300, and how many? Uh, uh, <laughs> not good, yeah, 310. 310, yeah. okay, so that's a hell of a lot of words in there. Mm. Now, I will say, everything we do in our life now seems to be controlled by passwords. Everything we do, whether you want to do online shopping, whether you want to do banking, just logging into your social media, you've got to have passwords. And the biggest fear now is what they call identity theft. Someone gets hold of your passwords, they yeah. can now log into everything. They can actually hack into your life. Yeah. Um, now, if you speak to any sort of security specialist, they will say the best way to pick a password is not to choose a pet's name, not to choose your mum's maiden name, not to choose your wife's name, your kid's name, or something that um, people can associate, like fishing, or yeah. something that they can associate. They say the best way to do it is to pick up a random book, open it to a page, and pick a word. That way the word has absolutely no association with you and there's no way it can be found out yeah. with someone just trying to hack and thinking, I know Dave, he's into fitness. I know Dave, he's into this. I know Dave, he's into that. And they can't try all these things. So we're gonna try that out now. We can, we're gonna see if I can hack the most secure yeah. system in the world which is your brain. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. To be fair, your brain is not the most <laughs> secure system in the world, but maybe other people's would be. You work with what you got. Yeah. <laughs> right, so do me a favour, open the book to any page, but hold yeah. it up so I can't see it. I'm not going to turn my head, but hold it up so I can't see it. Um, and what I want you to do is, I want you to pick a word that's going to be your password. Now, most passwords are sort of six, seven, eight letters, so go for a long word, okay? So try and go for seven letters or up if you can, if there's a, a word like that on your page. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you got one? Yeah. 
um, and close the book for me. So this word only exists in your mind. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to, to visualize in front of you maybe a, a keyboard. Right. Okay. And I want you to visualize yourself typing that word into your bank account. That's your bank account password. I'm going to yeah. try and hack it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, bear in mind, when I usually do this, I'll use two people for one part of it, but we're going to yeah. go from you. So I want you to, to visualize it, uh, visualize yourself tapping the letters in. Okay. Okay, straight away your finger's gone to a letter that I wouldn't usually have in one of my passwords, which is the letter V. So there's a V in your word. Um, and it went from V to... Bum, 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 v to E. <laughs> yeah. Uh, v, E. Actually, it was like a... It was a double. So you went from E to V to E. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Um, do me a favour. Actually, we, if, if there was someone else here, yeah. I would get them to try and guess the first letter. Yeah. So try and transmit the first letter to the guys at home. Okay? So you're going to translate just the first letter. So I'm going to ask the guys at home, what's the letter that's just come into your mind? Okay, the one I'm picking up is the letter R. Is, is your, letter, your first letter an R? No. What was your first letter? Uh, a H. A H. Yeah. So anyone that was thinking of a H, you managed to pick it up through the screen. Yeah. Okay? So we're going to try and, and go a bit further. So imagine the keyboard there. Mm -hmm. um, actually, forget the keyboard. Can you visualise doing something with this? Is this an, is this an object or just a, a long word? Is it a... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's an object. Yeah. Okay, so imagine, um, imagine when you would use this object or where you would see this object. Um, Okay, I'm seeing the colour white for some reason. Um, I'm seeing the colour white. Uh, I'm picking up quite a dark scene here. I'm seeing a lot of people dressed in black. I can see people holding... So, is it a handkerchief? Are you thinking of handkerchief? <laughs> I am, yeah. <laughs> it's wicked. Um, and that is so good. Is all about Eve. Now, believe you me, if you've got Mother of All Book Test, you already know from my performance yeah. how much stronger this is. Yeah, yeah. You already know because yeah. of the information I could give you before I got my information back. Yeah. Um, now, I'm not going to go into what I would do with two people because obviously you've seen it there, but whether you use, um, well, I will go into it, whether, because usually I would use something like Ultimate Flashback for the second person, or alternatively, I get someone up on stage and I yeah. say, okay, you're going to, because you're the person that's got the book, and I say, you're going to try and transmit it to, to someone, just the first letter to the people in the audience. What letter did you get? F, was that correct? No. Um, so what was the first letter? It was a H. Okay, think of the second letter. You try and pick up the second letter. What have you got? And they say it, and then instantly I'll turn and say, no, that's wrong. The second, second letters are so-and-so. Yeah. So now I'm straight back into it again. And I say, yeah. you know, you can sit down, you're rubbish. And I can carry on with you. But then there was a lovely moment that Steve had. That, um, and I, I think it goes back to what you said about Final Flashback. That, if you link these together, it really seems like you've never made a mistake. Oh, of course, because yeah. I would say to you, um, just concentrate on the first letter. Yeah. And uh, if if we've got someone over here thinking of Sally, or Sally, Sally, or whatever it is, yeah. then I'd go, your first letter's an S, and you'd go no, and I'd say, what was it? So, okay, yours is the S, isn't it? Bang. So I'm I picking can, up you as well. Yeah. It's such and a now you, yeah. you go back. So it's lovely. But those of you that, that know book tests will instantly know how good this is. Also, I want to point out the size. The size is great. Yeah. Um, you get a few bits with it as well. You get these uh, plastic, the, the nice plastic cover to protect it. You get some nice cribs and you get, I believe he if you want to pretend it's a library book, you get the pocket, like the library pocket stick right. inside. So he's thought of everything, Steve. And um, the book is written really well as well. It's not like, um, I, mm, it's not like the mother where you would open the book, pick a word, and then suddenly see that word. Yeah. 
everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not. It's, it's a great, great book test. And the power to read someone's mind is phenomenal. If you've yeah. never, I mean, I've said it so many times on the vlogs, I love book tests. I have got a huge collection of book tests. Mm. Um, and this is right up there. I mean, it's always hard to, if you're, you know, a book test is a book test, so it's hard to not talk about method because yeah. this this makes this book test stand alone yeah. because, because of the method of it. Um, so it isn't just another book test in my opinion. I've seen it performed. It is A-class material. Well, you just saw it performed again. Are you trying to say <laughs> my performance weren't really under much? Um, I've seen Steve perform it and uh, no, it's, it's great. The, yeah. the other thing I'd say, and once again, I've said this before in, um, in the vlogs, is when I go for a book test, I don't go for one of these all singing, all dancing, it will do 600 things. Yeah, yeah. Because to me, I, I just think it's wasted. I think a book test is there for one thing, pick a word. Yeah. And that's it. Um, and this does it well. The other one that I always recommend, but they're really hard to get a hold of, is Ultimate Flashback. But if you're a working pro, that will fit in your pocket, and it's brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's great. brilliant. Well um, done, Steve. Yeah, really well done. I, I'm, I'm far more impressed with this yeah. than I thought I would, would be. Not because I didn't think Steve could come up with it, but um, having had it and played with it, I start to realise how much that extra little bit, yeah. how much impact that has. Yeah, definitely. We have them in stock, so... Uh, uh, we do have them in stock, but once again, they're selling fast, but we have got more coming in next week. That is All About Eve by our very good friend, Steve Della. Right, so now on to the competition and last week's winner. First of all, the uh, anagram was a mock and warm spurners. Mm. A mock and warm spurners. I got it in first attempt. Did you? No. Right. <laughs> I thought that you had to break down each of the words. So, yeah, I didn't get it at all. But Well, I, I will say this was an extremely difficult one because not only did we get a lot of answers, but for the first time, we had a lot of wrong answers. Yeah, with lots of letters that weren't there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. which was really sort of quite amusing and yeah. good fun. But <clears throat> I'm glad to see that a lot of you guys are getting involved in it. Um, so the actual product was, drum roll. Oh. Under Wraps by Mark. Mason. You put his name in there. I did put his name and in there. There's a little bit of a throw off. There. Yeah, but yeah. there was People quite a few it. of you got it right. Um, and the winner of Under Wraps by Mark Mason is Mel or Malay Oosterhoff. Mm. I will put the name up here, Malay Oosterhoff. Um, you are now the proud owner of an Under Wraps. All you need to do is email in your details to sales at alakazam.co.uk. That is your name and your uh, address and your Alakazam username, not password, username. Yeah. And this will be sent out in the post you. So congratulations and thank you very much for taking part. And this week's one, I will quickly say on that as well, if you haven't seen Under Wraps, it is on one of the vlogs we did, so do yeah. check the video out on it, because it is an awesome working trick. So yeah. Congratulations. Uh, um, that, so. so this week's uh, anagram is Arch Foe Soldier of Fortune. Mm, very dramatic. Yeah. yeah. Arch Foe Soldier of Fortune. Yeah. So pause the screen, jot these down, and read re uh, order them shuffle them about yeah, yeah so or unshuffle them or unshuffle them and uh, you should get the name of the trick that is now inside the box yeah so good luck everyone and um once again thank you for taking part i do want to reiterate again um if you're going to send in your answers please do not do it on our facebook page don't facebook message us don't tweet us mm. to put your entry in you need to email sales at alakazam with a vlog competition in the subject line and your answer in the email. Perfect. And that's, from now on, we have been trying to get them from Facebook, but from now on, if you do it on Facebook, it won't be entered. Okay. Um, and that's purely because, like I said before, we are a shop, we're here. Yeah. If you need to speak to us, email, call. Um, Facebook is, for us, is there for fun. Our emails are checked 
that many times a day. Yeah. So the constantly. Facebook is checked. Maybe the message section of it is only checked a couple of times a week. It's not a business page. So yeah. Well, it's a business page, but it's but not. But it's where not we there check. for business. Yeah. We've got a shop. If you need to contact us for anything, if you've got a question about your order, a question about a product, anything like that, we're open from nine to five every day, apart from weekends. So we're always here to answer your calls, to answer your emails. So that is the best way to get in yeah. touch with us. Please don't use the Facebook for anything that you consider to be important because Facebook for us is fun and that's where we put fun information. Yeah. Um, we don't treat it as a business page. That's mm -hmm. wrong, but we, you know, our business is here. Email us, you'll get an answer straight away. So, you know, Facebook is fun. Um, so yeah, send me the, uh, answers in to sounds at yep. uk. so yeah that, one last thing to add before we go which is about the vimeo ah yes um a lot of you may be aware that uh, about a month or so ago apple updated its ios so the software for both the iphones and the ipads um, and since their update any streaming video in your Alexam account was coming up with a security settings error and it wouldn't allow you to play uh, any streaming videos or instructions from your ISO device. It would allow you if you were on a computer or an iMac, but your iOS device, it wouldn't allow it. We spoke to Vimeo when the problem occurred. Vimeo said it wasn't a problem with them, even though they were looking into it, it was a problem with Apple. Then a few weeks later, Vimeo got in touch to say uh, they had heard from Apple and Apple were gonna fix the bug in the next update. I am pleased to say that the update came out last night. Yeah. And before I downloaded the software, I logged into my Alexam account. I could not watch my videos. They were coming up with a security error. I downloaded the update and logged back in and I could Straight view away. them. Yeah. yeah. So that solves the problem. Whether you've got an Apple iPhone, whether you've got an iPad, update your iOS to the latest version and your streaming videos will now appear back in your site. So it wasn't a problem with our site, as we said, wasn't a problem with Vimeo, it was a problem with Apple and their iOS. Cool. So um, that's that. Uh, also, if they want to subscribe, where should they? Just about here. Just about You here. guys know now, all right? If, yeah. you, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for uh, supporting us and for the guys that always watch us, thank you for supporting us. But if you've not subscribed, do it right here. Because as soon as it comes up, we'll get put straight into the feed and you'll be able to watch it before anyone else. Which is important because sometimes we do have limited product. And by the yeah. time people order things or call into order, unfortunately we're waiting for new product to come in because we sold out. Yeah. So if it's in your timeline, you're going to be the first ones to know about it. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I will say, remember we have got an Alexan VIP app. Uh, that's something you can use on both Android and Apple. Just go to either Google Play or um, App Store. Yeah. Type in Alexan VIP, download the app. Um, you cannot log in with your Alexam username and password. No. You have to create one for the app. You can use the same one, but you do have to register it on the app. Yeah. The app we're looking to update, hopefully in the next month or so, which will uh, have a lot more features. But at the moment, this is a great little handy device to have on your phone. You can see some of the new products. Yeah. Um, you can watch the vlogs. You can check out our Facebook page and so on. So check that out. Um, also, if you do not belong to our VIP mailing list, pop along to our website on the homepage. There's a bit where it says newsletter subscription. Yeah. Type in your email address. Honestly, you will not be disappointed. We've been giving out some really good offers in the last week or two. Yeah. Um, so you get to hear about stuff first. Uh, you get special VIP deals that people that just visit the site will never see. Yeah. They're given to you, you get special passwords and stuff. Some of them are incredible. So anyway, thanks again, guys. Remember, we make these things for you. If you've got any suggestions, please let us know. We're always happy to help. And also remember, if you've got a product of ours that you really like that you perform, or not even ours, just something you that we stock, that you perform all the time, shoot us over a video and maybe we'll include it in the blog. Yeah. Um, or if you've got your own review of a product, shoot us over the video. We'd love to start including some of your things in the blog. So that's it for this week. Uh, we'll catch you next week on the... Anakazan Video Blog. <laughs>